The Last Flight of Noah's Ark is a pretty decent film. I enjoyed it more than I thought I would. This was released in 1980. It's a Disney film directed by Charles Jarrett, and it's written by Stephen W. Carabazzo, Sandy Glass, and George Arthur Bloom. And this stars Elliot Gould as Noah. And Noah is piloting a plane that is carrying animals. And I thought that's where the Noah's Ark was coming into it. But actually, it's not. And I feel like what happens could have been a bit of a spoiler, and I will talk about it in a moment. But it's also on the poster art, so I will explain the Noah's Ark element. But I will give, a, I guess, a tiny spoiler warning in case it's not obvious from the poster art. But I'm not going to spoil ultimately what happens at the end of the film. But he's flying this plane, um, and we also have Genevieve Bujol. I apologize if I've mispronounced that, as Bernadette. They're also on the plane with two orphans called Bobby and Julie, played by Ricky Schroeder and Tammy Lauren. And the plane crashes. I won't say how it happens, but they end up on this island. And unfortunately, they learn that there is no way off of the island. And they meet uh, a couple of Japanese people there who have been on the island for so long, they still think that World War II is happening. And Bernadette actually has to explain to them the war is over. But that helps to establish the fact that they've been there for so long, there is no way off of this island, the plane has crashed, what are they going to do? And I guess I will explain in a moment with a tiny spoiler warning what they end up doing. It did take a long time to get to that point in the narrative. It is very slow. A very, very slow film. The whole thing is about an hour and 40 minutes. And to be honest, not a great deal happens. But at the same time, I, I thought it was a relatively interesting film. The performances are really good. The characters are really likable. It's very well filmed. The island itself is very scenic, very beautiful. It is apparently filmed in Hawaii. I'm not sure if it's filmed entirely in Hawaii, but we do get some scenes there, and they're rather attractive to look at, so I like that. And it's it's not a bad film, definitely not too bad. So I will now, with a tiny spoiler, explain how the Noah's Ark came into it, aside from the fact that one of the characters is called Noah. But... As I said, this is not really a spoiler because it's on the poster art. It's kind of what the film's about, but it doesn't happen for about half of the film. But I will explain that now. The Noah's Ark bit comes into it because they realize the only way they can get off of this island is to turn the plane into a boat. Now, I have absolutely no idea if that is possible. None at all. If anybody has any information on that, please feel free to let me know. But that is their endeavor. And of course... It's not just the fact that he's called Noah and there's a boat. They also have the animals from the plane that they were trying to transport. So it is like a makeshift plane version of Noah's Ark without the biblical aspect. And it's interesting and I was keen to see what would happen. It is very slow. But at the same time, I feel like that part of the film, after the halfway mark, the pacing was okay. So what I think should have happened is that they should have made that happen sooner and yes the film would have been a little bit shorter but I think that would have been okay there is quite a bit of fluff to begin with but that aside I I enjoyed it more than I thought on paper it didn't sound like something I'd enjoy very much but actually it's an interesting enough narrative the characters are really interesting and the performances are really good and as I said visually the island really appealing so not not too bad at all the Last Flight of Noah's Ark is a pretty decent film and one that I'm happy to recommend. <laughs> 